All right. Constellation in a random battle. I need to sprinkle holy water on my matchmaking. There she is. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. This is Castle's fault. I blame Castle for this game. Coming up on our first Warships Black Friday, what should we expect in terms of available ships? Just the new black ships or other previous black ships? So historically, Hetman, what they have done, every black ship is available every Black Friday. Now, by that I mean the previous year's black ships, you have to buy in some stupid bundle. If I remember that right, that's what they did last year. So two years ago was the first year they did Black Friday ships that I remember. It was four or six of them, whatever it was. Last year, they added them, and you could buy the previous year's ones in some kind of all-in bundle that was like $300 or something. So it was like every black ship available, but it was some outrageous price. So this is where we are. I have no idea. I, I got no... Oh, excellent. I'm in a game with submarines and everything. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, Castle, this is totally your fault. This is totally your fault. I'm blaming you for all of this. Is that what it is? You get random. That's what it is. You can buy single crates from previous years that have the chance to drop just the ships from the previous years. Yes, I remember that now as well. Wow. Three tier, four tier eight battleships, a tier nine battleship up against this. All right, I guess. So, Castle, I'll tell you straight up. If you if you find yourself wanting to play a decent amount of silver silver league ranked, I really do feel like Constellation is a good pick in that format. Um you saw the game that I played, I guess it was last week or the week before when I played the one silver game with Constellation like that was really good. That was a really good game. I beat I basically beat a Massachusetts. I got to beat the crap out of an opposing destroyer. I used her radar, I used her torpedoes. She's got a lot going for her in that smaller format. In a 12v12 game with planes and subs and tier 10 battleships, I find it really hard to recommend this ship. Um, more than half the time, she's going to get very, very unpleasant matchmaking in a random, in a random battle. So it's a question of it's a question of what you want to use the ship for. Remember the conversation we were having earlier about premium ships? Some are good in certain formats. Some are some are good, but, you know, and some are bad. And you know what I'm saying? So, like, Constellation, in my opinion, is a ship that is really below average in random battles. But in ranked battles, she's really good. Right? Like, I feel like this is a really solid ship for ranked between the radar and the torps and the guns and the speed and the heel and you know all of it there's a lot to like here um but in a random battle you're gonna find yourself punching yourself in the face more often than not because you're like oh look i just took twenty five thousand damage at max range what could possibly go wrong now keep drifting keep drifting plymouth keep drifting plymouth <laughs> that Plymouth really hates his life right now because you have to remember Plymouth doesn't have a super heal. Plymouth doesn't have a super heal. Plymouth has a regular heal. So that, that boat is in trouble. Good evening, Cutthroat. Now, what I'm really hoping is that that Plymouth will open fire. If he'll open fire, I'm going to pop my spotter plane and try and waste him. Gucci, Gucci. Tor Never mind. Heru Torpedo's got him. This Kagero is super mega ultra boned. Yep, that guy just got screwed. 
Well, it only took three and a half minutes for us to kill three ships in a tier 10 game. Yeah. Yeah. Massachusetts, like, Massachusetts is still available to Black Commander. I'll say this. If you don't own an Alaska, that's a ship that I would chase on the Black Friday, out of the Black Friday containers. Now, with that caveat, with the caveat of, you know, set a budget and don't go stupid. You know, this is, you are still gambling, okay? So just like I do when you sit down to play blackjack or pull slot machines, start with a fixed amount of money and don't exceed that, okay? But Alaska is worth chasing. Alaska is, not only is she historical, she's a really good ship. She's somewhat unique. She's way better than Congress. Please don't buy a Congress. Congress is like, we took all the good things about Alaska and watered them down to the point of mediocrity. Just please don't buy a Congress. Congress is not good. I got that shot. Oh, I was going to say, I got that shot for free, but I didn't. Because of Moggy. Congress, Congress is just as useful as her namesake. Yes, that is a that is a great way to look at it. Congress is exactly as useful as her namesake is. Zeet and I are about to, are about to kiss. Mwah. Never mind, he's already dead. We are absolutely murderizing this team. You know, I gotta say, Napoli is a ship that still surprises me. Come on, Citadels. Dang it! How about miss everything? Dang it! <laughs> well, we so far we are absolutely obliterating the opposing team. Like, they might as well not even be present. This is bad. Yasha, how you doing? Nunez, completely agree. Prince Eugen is a better premium than Congress, right? Congress is a watered-down, milk-toast Alaska. And Alaska is just better. It's literally that simple. Alaska is better. So, if you're going to spend money, in my mind, set yourself a little budget... Decide how much you're willing to how much you're willing to gamble, and go chase an Alaska Black because that's a much better use of your money and time. We spotted an enemy submarine. I think I overled him. Yeah, I did. It's irritating. Okay, I'm gonna wait for his guns to fire. Then we're going to turn in. Actually, I'm going to have to turn in now. He's taking his stern guns out of the game. Anyway. This is going to hurt. Yep. But I gave back decently. That's the one thing about Constellation, at least. Her armor scheme is somewhat predictable, right? Like, you know when you're about to get slapped. It, it's not a secret. <laughs> it's not like, oh, that was surprising. No. You it's, you know when you're going to get slapped hard. See, he didn't see me slow down, so he blew that whole salvo and got nothing out of it. Hi, fellas. Look at you. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I got none of those? That feels crappy. Well, this guy has no battery, so he can't stay down forever. Ah, oh, this is going to hurt, too. He snuck a shot through when I wasn't looking. Go away. 22 kilometers? Don't you guys have better things to shoot at? 
Well, not a very exciting game again. Team just kind of melted. I believe more or less, Edge Case, that is correct. Well, you're not the only one that can sneak shells over an island. Although I think I shorted that salvo very badly. Guess we'll find out. Yep, missed. Well, let's go have some fun with this Lennon. I got time. Probably get up here on his broadside and crush him. Yes, Nolo's correct. This is meant to be a finished version of what the Lexington class battle cruiser was. However, it is since the ship was never finished, calling it a historical is perhaps a bit rude. However, it is not how the ship was intended to be completed. So at least that part is is correct. Is Sone here? What's up, Sone? How has your COD been treating you, buddy? You've been playing a lot of Vanguard lately. I think I'm going to get one salvo on this Lennon before I go, before the game ends. Assuming the submarines leave anything left for me, leave anything for me to claim. That's right, Soyuz. Make sure you drop those depth charges on him. Oh my god, I'm so tired of seeing that. This Lennon's going to absolutely love me. Check it out. You think I can kill him? Can I one salvo this guy, maybe? Maybe. Okay, I'm going to wait till I've got a nice, clear shot. No island in the way. And... Oh! Why do I have HE in the barrel? Oh, my God. Well, I think I've got time for the guns to reload. Why the hell do I have HE loaded? What the hell? Why would I have ever loaded HE? Wow, that hurt. Get wrecked. Hmm. <laughs> Why the hell would I have had HE loaded? Oh, you know what it was? It was because a minute ago I thought I was going to have to shoot on the damn submarine. That's what it was. God, that was stupid. That was stupid. I had all the time in the world to look down and see, do I have the right ammo type, ammo type loaded? Duh. Wow. Well, that game wasn't very exciting. But it was a win. And we crushed, I crushed, I crushed a Plymouth. That felt good. It's like, yeah, this guy didn't, he was like, oh, look, I got spotted. Oh, look, I took 30,000 damage. <laughs> Sucks to be you, dude. Sucks to be you.